they don't know the difference between adding and multiplying. And they think they the same. I'm going to show you all some. Let's start with the comments. Now, watch this, right? Somebody right here. First of all, I'm going to deal with all these comments, but I specifically want to deal with the ones with the smoke. All kinds of smoke. So we live in a realm where enslaved humans take Hollywood actors seriously. Right. And we'll defend them. Look, you drink too much. You don't want to go on a show. Billy Car and this man in all caps. Look, I would never advise him to debate one on one with you because you drink too much and you are too loud. But everything you are posting, Billy Carson has already made known on it. You know what? I'm just going to block this person because that's a damn lie right and and let me tell y'all something about these people when a person say you do some too much and you don't even know them and they don't know you you ignore them so people like that i'm gonna move on either you want to debate me about what i'm saying if i'm right or wrong then let's do it other than that you can get the fuck out of here billy carson scam too much so you don't know what the fuck I do too much, right? You ain't in my life. It's motherfuckers out there with podcasts that's based around that, like drink champs, dummy. So that's crazy as hell. Um, when you when they be defending their boyfriends, that's the kind of shit they go into. You 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 too inebriated around my man. Boy, go sit your ass down. Either you gonna debate me on some science or not. You don't know a nigga life. Every time you see Billy Carson, his eyes look like he hitting some of that infused shit. <laughs> you talk to a nigga that lie to y'all and tell y'all he was abducted by aliens. You got the nerve. Boy, please get your ass out of here. You talk to scamming ass niggas that, that tell y'all they've been abducted by aliens and shit. Well, y'all are children's. Your chip, e this is a nigga that is defending one time, one equal in two, y'all. <laughs> These niggas mad at me cause they want one time, one to be two. Nigga, get mad at the math, nigga. And when you go to a store, one time one gonna be one no matter what Terrence Howard and Billy Carson saying and no matter how mad you get at me when your son go to math class and he got the uh, answer is what one time one is guess what he gonna do say what I'm saying not what you saying now let's get to the dumbest who don't know the difference between adding and multiplying let's start with the first dummy right here this person said, so is one turtle time one turtle, one turtle? Guess what, y'all? This person don't know what multiplying is. You can't do, you can't say a turtle times a turtle. That ain't, that ain't how multiplying work. The second, let me teach y'all something you should have learned in elementary school, right? And I, and I responded to this, right? They said, so is one turtle time one turtle, one turtle? Because I clearly see two turtles, not one turtle. You're too eager to be right. So does Adam time Eve equal one person? Technically, yeah, if you want to do that, one human time another human equals one more other human. Yes, but that ain't even how multiplying work, though. All of this is adding. And I'm finna take y'all to school. Watch this. Sure looks like one person time one person equal two people. That's one person plus one person, dummy. <laughs> y'all see that? And they telling me I'm being so arrogant when you being so damn stupid and dumb. That's what I don't like about people. They think that I'm arrogant when they just fucking stupid and I'm passionate about making your ass not be stupid. You're mistaking my passion for teaching because any teacher that see a grown motherfucker saying one time one is two going to get passionate. They're going to say, ah, oh, I got work to do. That's passion. I'm trying to say you stupid motherfuckers. Now, let me show you how multiplication work, because all they did was add a turtle to the one they had, which is addition. 
So if you give me one turtle one time, how many turtles do I have? That's called multiplication. Let me break some down to y'all that'll give y'all a good idea of how what multiplication is. When we multiply, right? The second number represents how many times we add the first number to itself. So for example, right? If you say, what is one time two, Sanchez? One, two times is two. So when you say one times a number, the number out the times mean how many times you're gonna add that number to itself. Y'all are idiots. So if I say one time five, I'm gonna add one to itself five times. But if I say one plus five, I'm just gonna add a one to the five I already had, giving me six. That's why one time five is five and one plus five is six. I'm teaching y'all shit you should have learned in elementary, man. How y'all got children in school and you think I'm arrogant? Anybody with a brain ought to know how to, what the fuck the difference between multiplying and adding. People keep adding and they think they multiplying. So one turtle and another turtle is how many? Two. So what do you mean one time one is one? Y'all stupid. Stupid. Y'all keep adding and you saying times. You saying one person time one person equal two people. That's wrong. One person plus one person equal two people. I'm trying to show y'all why it's called timetables. When you say this times that, the times is how many times you add the first number to itself. So nine times three, I'm gonna add nine to itself three times. Boom, I'm gonna get the same sum as nine plus nine plus nine. You feel me? But if I say nine plus three, it's gonna give me 12. But if I say nine plus nine plus nine, I'm gonna get 27. Damn, y'all should have learned this in elementary. Don't let Terrence Howard make you fucking stupid. Don't think I'm so arrogant that I don't want to see this black man shine or that I'm hating on him or something. I'm saying the man is a fucking agent put out there to make gullible people like y'all that go for anything fall for it. See, I do it. You, you ought to know me by now that I do very extensive research. So I've already took this to the bank and checked out that it's some dumb shit. The problem that he's making is that he's adding and thinking he's multiplying. Another problem he's making is using the definition of multiply, which means to increase. And that definition is wrong. But the, when we multiply some shit, that ain't wrong. Listen. If I give you a dollar two times, you got two dollars. One time, two is two. That's multiplying. If I add a dollar to the two I gave you, you just got you got three dollars. This is important to know, y'all. It's very important to know the difference. And you can't just say, were well, they really the same? No, the fuck they're not. A man that adds $200 to his bank account every day is not going to be richer than a man that multiply what's in his bank account every day by 200. You ought to know this shit. This maybe this why we so fucking broke as a people. Like y'all really think that the man who get up every day and add $200 to his bank account is gonna be richer than the man that get up every day and multiply his bank account by 200. Y'all silly as fuck. Stupid. Why y'all even entertain this dumb shit if you've passed math class? This is silly, man. You're trying to make multiplication something that is not. So again, when we multiply, the second number represents how many times we add the first number to itself, which is why you don't say a turtle times a damn turtle. That ain't multiple. You, you, that, that is not a proper application for multiplying because the times and multiply 
is how many times we add the number by itself, meaning multiplication. If you want to deal with animals and humans, how y'all trying to do, then guess what? That'll be like dogs. That'll be saying when a male dog have sex with a female dog, they have like six or seven babies. So like we said, we don't die, we multiply. That's to say that humans breed at an exponential rate. When you think of roaches or rats. But if you say one man plus one woman equals three people, you lying. Because everybody keeps saying that. Well, Sanchez, one person plus one person equals three. Like, you know, what people keep telling me, you know, one plus one equals three. That's another one they saying where they're saying Sanchez. One man plus one woman equals a baby. That's three people. That's dumb, too, because a man and a woman can have twins. <laughs> A man and a woman can, can have quadruplets. So now, well, Sanchez, one plus one equals four. Because they had quadruplets. Like, that's what I'm saying. We're using numbers in, in situations that are inapplicable a lot of times to make our pseudo points. And y'all mad at me saying I'm being arrogant and that I'm eager to be right. Everybody should be eager to be right. My eagerness to be right is why I got a growing of over a quarter million people trusting my research because they know I'm eager to be right. They know I'm so eager to be right. I'll stay up at night and I bet you you sleep right now and you ain't going to watch this till the next day. Either you're eager to be right or you're eager to be wrong. Like it's not an insult to a person to say they're eager to be right. That's what we all should strive for. But I know one thing, you all are ignorant. And instead of questioning yourself, you look at me like Sanchez drinking and he arrogant and eager and shit. In my alcohol, I still know how to multiply and you don't drink and you think one time one is two. Maybe you need to drink, nigga, this is crazy. <laughs> Like you telling me I can smoke and drink and still be a whiz kid and win debates and have over a thousand people listen to what the fuck I got to say and teach? Really? So much so that I'm mentioned in books. I've sat down with, 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 with people y'all idolize and shit. They idolize me, nigga. So like pump your goddamn brakes. People say I don't let nobody talk. So guess what, y'all? We ain't having a panel for a week straight. I'm going to show you some because Joe Rogan don't let your punk ass talk. Terrence Howard, how many times he opened up a panel for your bitch ass? How many times Billy Carson opened up a Zoom call and let your bitch ass talk? So since people got a problem with me talking about I don't let people talk, we won't open up a panel for a week. And we might cut the panels down all together because when you give some people some shit, they ask for more. If Joe Rogan opened up a panel and just let you sit on it, you will be happy. If he said, listen, there's no talking on my Zoom call. I'm just charging y'all 25 bucks a piece just to sit in my presence. Y'all will thank that nigga and kiss his feet for that. I come up with this bitch with thorough ass research and these niggas come up here with a wig on telling you one time one is two and it's clearly a psyop that you falling for to make you look stupid as hell. That's why you don't see white folks pushing this shit. Show me one white man following this shit. Sanchez, why you keep bringing up the white man? Because he's smarter than black men. It's obvious when you got a nigga saying one time one is two and ain't nobody supporting it but black folks. <laughs> we the ones bite at all the dumb shit. Da ain't you know that by now? Don't you know that all the people I'm arguing with are black folks? 
You can teach them one time, one is two, just like you can teach them a man walked on water. Just like you can teach them that Jesus coming back, snakes talk, the blind was healed with mud and spit, a crowd was fed with fishes, and you can do that to black folks. Don't you know we the most believing people? We the most gullible people, the easiest to fool. Why you think everything marketed to us? That's why I said you're not going to get no Asian guys and no white guys back in one time. One is two because they send back laughing at niggas saying black people are so fucking gullible. They're so fucking stupid. Now, let's go on to the next. It said, how is one time one equals one, but two time two equals four and five time five equals twenty five. God damn, it says stop the madness. You are adding, subtracting, and so forth to something to get something out of it. Now, that don't make no goddamn sense. That don't make no sense, y'all. Five times five is 25. But what's five plus five? Right, 10. They can't be the same thing if I don't always get the same sum because these are two different processes. And every now and then, you can get the same number. For example, right? Let me give you a scenario. Two times two is four, and two plus two is four. So let me guess, adding and multiplying is the same. And Stupid. No, they're not. It's just that the sum of two times two and the sum of two plus two are the same. But let's go one number up. Two times three is six, right? What's two plus three? Five. See, I would love to do business with you dummies. <laughs> I would love to do business with you dummies because when you multiply, the second number represents how many times we add the first number to itself. And I don't feel bad calling you a moron. If you over 25 and I'm teaching you one time one ain't fucking two and you ain't been in jail, you ain't been in prison, you a functioning whole human out here with children, you're a fucking moron that I got to teach you this. <laughs> Even if you say, damn, Sanchez, I see what you saying. I get it now. You was a fucking moron forever letting that nigga fool you any damn way. On some shit so simple, nigga. It's simple. Adding and multiplying aren't the damn same. So four times three is 12. Why? Because four plus four plus four equals 12. But four plus three is seven. Because we didn't add that number four to itself three times. We just added three to it and got seven. Come on, man. Drop a one if y'all get this, bro. This is fucking elementary, man. It's fucking elementary, bro. I can't believe in 2024, I got to keep, I got to reteach multiplication. Like these, these dudes dumbing us down, man. These dudes dumbing us down, bro. Then, then look, you're wrong, Sanchez. Look up the definition of multiply. It means to increase or call. That's what I'm telling you. And, and you know what I don't like about black folks? When you look up the definition of black and it say wicked, evil, deceptive, they say that's wrong. Why? Because we know Webster ain't, he, he don't get all the definitions right. I keep telling y'all, nigga. The people that print defin uh, definitions, the people that make dictionaries, they biases go in them too. That's proof when you look up the color black. You won't let Webster define what love is to you. You know the stuff you got for your children, especially if Webster don't even got no love and he's a hateful person. That's what I'm saying. Would you let Webster define law for you or a judge? So my thing is, if you read in a dictionary that multiply means to increase, that's wrong. That should be changed. And Terrence Howard should get his credit for that. He should be known as the black man that made Webster change the definition of multiply. But him saying that math is wrong, 
get the fuck out of here, nigga. I know how to multiply. The definition of multiply is wrong. So Webster ain't smarter than every mathematician in the world. You got to be a dumbass to think that. That all of the mathematicians in the world that agree with Sanchez, there are accountants that agree with me. And y'all think this one dude named Terrence Howard, he, he that smart. You think everybody in the world wrong and Terrence right. No, it's just that what he figured out was that some we always knew. Definitions in the dictionary ain't 100% accurate. So instead of him reading the definition of multiply, saying this definition is wrong, he said math is wrong. Now that is fucking stupid. That's stupid. That's like me reading the definition of politics and saying that the political system is wrong because Webster defined it wrong. Y'all are the same people that look up the definition of black and you have no problem saying he wrong about that. Black is not wicked and evil, right? So I don't get the hypocrisy. So multiply don't necessarily mean to increase because in some instances you don't get an increase like one time one which is the only uh one he planned with why don't he try that with three times two y'all <laughs> why is this man keep picking on one time one you get what i'm saying it's just a little glitch in the definition what webster should have said was it means to increase, but not in all instances. And Terrence Howard would be the man to make them add that. And I give him credit for that. That he found out that the definition of multiply ain't really accurate. But however, one time one is one dog. Because just because Webster didn't define multiply right, I'm able to go behind Webster and correct him just like I'm doing because why, how am I able to do that? Cause I know how to multiply. How did I, how do I know that? I went to fucking elementary school and paid attention. Too bad you didn't. The second number, when you say this times that, once you say times, that second number represents how many times we add the first number to itself. So 11 times three is 33. Why? Because 11 plus 11 plus 11. Why did we add 11 to itself three times? Because 11 times three is another way of writing 11 plus 11 plus 11. But that's different than writing 11 plus three. Because now you just going to get 14 and not 33. It's just, it's not hard, man. It's so fucking simple. The problem is that Webster did define multiplication slightly inaccurate by not saying not in all cases. For, and he should have put, for example, one time one for dummies like Terrence Howard. That's what he should have did. <laughs> So this is crazy. Like this man think every accountant and every bank and every mathematician is wrong. And he's, he's right. And y'all saying I'm the one with the ego. Um, bro, if I looked around and saw that I'm the only man saying this. And the only dude that support me is a dude said he was abducted by aliens and he can walk through walls. I'll check myself and my ego. How dare y'all say I got ego? That takes some ego. Flat Earth ain't near, near that egotistical. Because we got a whole fucking community of millions of people with this. It ain't just one man. If, if I was one dude saying the Earth is flat, even if I can go out there and prove it, nigga, I still doubt that shit. Like, why the fuck am I the only man in the world see this? I got to have something wrong because I don't got that much ego. Like, I'm the only one saying it's flat. 
think about it. I co I go live all the time and I be like, bro, I just went live to make sure it wasn't just me because I thought I was just tripping. That show you how I run my shit by my peers all the time. And if you don't, your ego will get out of control. You will think anything you say, you write about it. And that's what Terrence Howard doing. Can't nobody tell his dumb ass that he wrong. And one time one equals one, you fucking nutcase. Because you're not damn multiplying, you're adding. And so he went on Joe Rogan dissing Flat Earth. Talking about the ancestors was wrong because they thought the earth was flat. And that's why they didn't have the golden ratio correct. People, you know how blasphemous that is. How the fuck you made pyramids and lined them up with the stars, but you didn't have the golden ratio correct. And we can't even do what they did. And you think we got it right now. And Terrence Howard is the man that's going to get it right. Don't you know that they study the golden ratio in colleges? The golden ratio, the flower of life is one of the oldest symbols in the world. No one never said that there was any flaws in it to Terrence Howard. This one man on the earth is saying such blasphemies about ancient symbols that are perfect. He's just not perfect. He's the one not perfect. The amount of ego it takes to be Terrence Howard, like it ain't nothing I can go live and say about the man that can rival his amount of ego. I'm sorry. He's wrong and I'm right. It ain't ego, it's just truth. I got the story right. I didn't sell my soul to Hollywood. That nigga said he came to the conscious community when they turned him down for Iron Man. <laughs> this conscious community shit wasn't no plan B for me. This was, this was something I was born to do. It wasn't nothing I came to out the massa turned me down. It ain't nothing I just came to out the my deal with the devil didn't go right. This was my first choice to begin with. It ain't my second choice. It ain't my side chick. This my main hole right here. And I got a problem with you saying it's your side chick and you dumb than a motherfucker. And y'all notice he getting all the clout around here on the controlled platforms like Joe Rogan. So I'm not wrong. And this chick right here said, stop acting like you smarter than everybody. You see what I'm saying? How the fuck am I acting like I'm smarter than everybody when I go live all the time calling out dumb shit when NASA is wrong, when globe earthers are wrong, when the medical mafia tell you to get a certain medicine that I think you shouldn't get, if you know what I mean, I will risk my channel saying they wrong, don't do it. So what make you think I'm going to cut uh, Terrence Howard any slack for teaching people one time one is two and dissing flat earth? Why he acting like he know more than every fucking mathematician in the world? Like the nerve of this chick. She said, I'm acting like I'm smarter than everybody when all of us went to school and learned how to multiply and we made it out of elementary school. How I'm smarter than everybody when we all went to school and learned how to multiply. Everybody should know how to multiply. It ain't that I'm acting like I'm smarter than everybody. I'm pointing out that Terrence Howard is an actor. He the one doing the acting and he's acting like he's smarter than everybody. Because he's telling everybody else, we went to school, but we learned wrong. That's what he's telling everybody in the fucking world, including the accountants, the bankers, the mathematicians. He telling them they don't know one times one. And y'all telling me I'm acting like I'm smarter than everybody. That man literally acting like he's smarter than the whole world when he say that. Bro, for you to say one time one equal two, you're acting like you smarter than every mathematician and an accountant on the earth right now that'll tell you you wrong. To say that the ancestors was wrong about the golden ratio, 
How you acting like you smarter than the people that built the fucking pyramids? Like, I don't get how I'm acting like I'm smarter than everybody when that's literally what this man is doing and it's such blasphemous shit that he's doing. I don't see how, like, I didn't think Terrence Howard would still be here right now blowing up like this. I thought the conscious community would bend us all through this nigga. But now, the more I think that we waking up, the more I see that the celebrity still got a stronghold in this community. The boule still know, like Steve Coakley told y'all before he died, don't trust none of the actors and celebrities, bro. Y'all acting like I'm tripping when I'm just keeping true to what the community was. I'm not going with the new age agenda and I see it coming. Steve Coakley said something very powerful. He said only in the black community do they parade in front of us our actors and comedians and entertainers as intelligent leaders, as um, pioneers of sciences and et cetera. He goes into that. And when I see Terrence Howard, Cat Williams, all them, people think Cat Williams is so fucking revolutionary when he's part of the Illuminati. Everybody that they throwing under the rug, them the niggas that, that went against the cabal, but all of them part of the cabal. That's how the mafia work. When they got to give up a nigga, it's the less desirable members that's gonna go first. Ain't no honor amongst thieves. They throw their own under the bus every time. And they they and when they throw their own under the bus, they make sure they get celebrated by the public for it. By saying, I got the bad guy out of there. They make sure they they suck up and intercept the energy from that. Like, like it's y'all folks ain't as woke as y'all think for real. If you if I really like your whole revolutionary spirit is false. With the Cat Williams, with the Diddy shit, with the whole Terrence How this is a celebrity programmed and orchestrated revolution and, and fake awakening that they got y'all under. That's a program. And you think I'm hating on black men by pointing out the boule side. That's like me saying, look, y'all, here is the grassroots conscious community. That over there is the Joe Rogan control shit. That over there is the, the fucking revote, your 19 keys, your Joe Rogans, your Billy. Co like that's the main, that's the machine over there. Like I'm trying to show you over here is like the Kendrick Lamar. Over there is the Drake. That's what I'm trying to show y'all. Like this, this conscious community, y'all don't know shit, bro. Y'all think y'all know everything when the people that y'all idolize, I got some of their numbers in my cell phone. I know how deep this shit go. You don't know who I talk to. I've interviewed celebrities time out the time. Can hit some up now. I can hit niggas up right now that was signed to Diddy. That have been on my channel. You don't know what I know. So I think that I let the, the fans get a little bit too close to me because they don't play this type shit with Billy Carson and uh, Terrence Howard and all them niggas. And guess what you got to realize? I'm finna stop doing these open panels and I'm finna go back to just it being all me by myself. And that's it. Because when you let people too close to you, they go to complaining. He cut him off. He didn't let them talk. So guess what? We just not doing panels at all. Because the people that y'all idolize don't open up no panels at all. And y'all be happy with that sucking them off. You start giving niggas shit, they will complain about what you giving them for free. Ain't that something? I don't let people talk, but I'm on this bitch for some time, 10 hours with a panel. You think I'm doing all that talking for 10 hours? Then when I do those panels and let all these people talk for hours and hours and hours, guess what people put in the chat room? Sanchez, we tired of the panels. We want to hear you by yourself. So on one minute, I don't let people talk. Then on another minute, we tired of you letting people talk. We want to hear you by yourself. <laughs> 
so I just got to stop. Guess what I got to do? Like all the other content creators and ignore the comment section and stop doing panels and just act bougie like Billy Carson and all these other niggas who dicks y'all suck. I'm finna start doing what they doing starting the day. If you want to call in and talk to me, you're going to have to pay for it on some other platform like Discord. It's finna get real bougie. I see that people that do that to y'all, y'all respect them more. If they don't just let their guard down, have a beer with you, open up the call line, smoke a blunt with you. See, when a nigga try to do real shit and be down to earth, you want niggas to be bougie. You want me to put on a front and act like Tamara Tower. Y'all want fake shit and watered down shit. Soon as a nigga give you some real shit like what we grew up to, you go to bitching like a little bitch. Y'all niggas is new age program. This new, this new little awakening shit like y'all fake woke, bro. Y'all not really woke for real. Y'all basically the woke where a celebrity can tell you anything and you'll go for it. You ain't the kind of woke that think for yourself. When you say I'm acting like I know everything, guess what, motherfucker? I know that I speak for the ancestors. I know that what I teach is divine spiritual teachings that our ancestors left behind and Terrence Howard ain't teaching it. That's what I know. I know he lying about the flower of life and ain't nothing wrong with it and that he got some nerve saying that the people that built the pyramids was wrong about the flower of life. When the Omex, the Mayan, the fucking Egyptians, the Babylonians, the Sumerians, these were some of the most fucking advanced cultures ever known. And man, we're yet to get where they was, the Tartarians and shit. These dudes are agents that want y'all to think modern man is better than everybody. That's what they've been pushing, that the ancestors is dumb and they Flintstone people. And we know every damn thing. And y'all saying I'm full of ego when I'm humble enough to represent the ancestors and not myself. I don't act like I know everything, but I damn sure tell you that the ancestors knew everything. And I've argued that to my grave. See, I never gave a fuck about people thinking I know everything. Because if you ever hear me teach, I'm always saying the ancestors said this, the ancestors taught that. I want to give the glory back to the ancestors, not myself. That's what Terrence Howard doing. He trying to get credit. He didn't get the fucking um, Iron Man role. And he says so he went on his whole awakening thing. So if he would have got the role in Hollywood, you wouldn't even be hearing from that nigga right now. I didn't have a choice. I didn't turn down a role to come to you. I walked into a role to come to you. I didn't turn out. This ain't no second calling. This is a first calling for me. People talking about you hating on them. No, nigga, this is a competitive community. Billy Carson have challenged other teachers and he can be challenged. The moment Terrence Howard stepped in this community, we debate, nigga. We challenge each other. Go put my name in YouTube right now and see how many people got videos up saying I'm wrong about flat earth. The earth is a globe. I got to just ignore them because I'll be responding to a person every day is so many people. And I ain't mad at them. When I came into this community, I signed myself up for people to make videos and say, well, he, I think he wrong about this or that. And I don't expect nobody to coddle me either. And you're not going to do it with Terrence Howard. Everybody in this community got to play by the same rules, man. And y'all are literally victims of idolatry to where you don't want celebrities to fall into the same down to earth category. Like I would debate Sarnetta. I would debate the Hebrews. And that's what I peep like a lot of people that come over here and see me turn up on Sarnetta or the Hebrews or different people like that or Polite or Pharaoh, Umar. They egg it on. Keep your foot on their neck. 
Then when I bring up Terrence Tower, man, you hating on that man, man. You don't know everything. Your ego in the way. I'm like, damn, nigga, I'm just doing this with everybody. When y'all told me to keep they, my foot on their neck, then when I put my foot on your boyfriend neck, you get mad. <laughs> Keep my foot on they neck long as the day ain't somebody you like. I don't idolize these men. In my mind, anybody can get it. In your mind, leave Terrence alone, man. Leave him alone. <laughs> and I just don't operate like that. If I'm going to be fair, I'm going to be fair. And I'm a, and and how the fuck am I gonna talk about somebody believing that water hold the shape of a ball, but I can't talk about a nigga that think one time one is two? That shit's silly, especially when he got a bunch of dummies believing it, cause they forgot the difference between adding and multiplying. People are stupid, man. You can rock them to sleep. You can make them forget basic shit. It's a fine line between waking up and questioning everything and just forgetting common sense shit like waking up don't mean just be vulnerable to bullshit you still need discernment waking up don't mean you can tell me anything and I'm a marvel at it and woo cause the possibilities you got to have an open mind you never know it could be pink elephants under the ground that fly around and have voting elections <laughs> I'm just saying you never you gotta keep an open mind no I don't gotta open my mind to dumb shit that's our problem Opening your mind to everything You wouldn't open your pussy to everything Now would you But you will open your mind To every damn crazy idea And waste your time And it's gonna make your ass dumber Entertaining one time One is two You rocking your own damn self to sleep And you trying to make it make sense With turtles and everything Okay, this is how you look at multiplying if you want if you want to do it with turtles. Let's say I got a reptile shop and I got a bunch of turtles and I say, look, I'm going to give you a turtle a day. That's how you would say one turtle time one day. You could say one turtle plus one turtle give you two turtles. But that ain't how multiplication work. And you can't just make things work how you want them to work. That ain't how map like it's rules to it for a reason, though, because the purpose of multiplying is so that we can see how things add up over time exponentially. Again, if you added two hundred dollars to your bank account every day and I timed my account balance by two hundred every day, who would be richer, y'all? The man who multiplied his money by 200 every day or the man who just added another $200 to his money every day? Who gonna be richer? Like looking at both of them like they the same is the most dumbest shit ever, bro. And it needs to stop. That's why I'm going to go on a, a tangent of videos about it, showing people how stupid they are for entertaining it. So... If you don't like the way I run my calls, either don't call in or don't watch me. Because you will suck people off that don't let people call in at all, let alone cut them off. My thing is they ain't going to let your ass call in at all. So you ain't got to worry about them cutting your ass off, though. <laughs> yeah. When a motherfucker say you cut me off, I'ma say, and I can kick your ass and beep beep hang up on your ass too. I can do what I wanna do to you when you call into my show. Luckily for y'all, I'm respectful and I try to get to everybody, even when it's 25 motherfuckers on the call. So, uh, so when people say, well, he cut him off or cut him and I cut you off too, it's my show. It's not yours and that's black people's problem. You don't get to do what you want to do with other people's shit. And if you don't like my rules, you can go.
Well, it ain't fair. I never said my show was fair. The corner store you shop at ain't fair. They can refuse service to anybody without telling you why. Entitled ass niggas. <laughs> you gonna allow yourself to be cut off and, and allow the host to interject and shut the fuck up about it too. And then say thank you when you're done getting cut off and leave the show. Thank you for the call, Sanchez. You know why? Because when if your ass was on Jerry Springer, Oprah Winfrey, and she asking you a question and they cut you off, but wait a minute and, and cut your ass off, you ain't going to say, Jerry Springer, you cut me off. Oprah Winfrey, you cut me off. You're going to shut the fuck up. You're going to stop what it was you were saying, and you're going to listen to what Oprah's saying, and then you're going to get your ass online. You ain't going to say Howard Stern, you cut me off. And I'm going to treat you niggas how them celebrities treat y'all niggas and you still suck their Because I give you niggas too much and these celebrities give you too little and y'all suck their Real talk. So I'm going to act bougie now. I'm going to act bougie and see if I can get some of this celebrity uh, treatment so now let me read some more of these just for fun S see if we got any more people that don't know uh, the difference between multiplying and adding okay because that's their problem then I got some niggas say Terrence is right multiplication is nothing but exaggerated addition and this is why you're not an accountant sir <laughs> You can't exaggerate addition. You either add some shit or you don't. It's simple as that. Like, the opposite of adding is subtracting. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. Again, if you give me $2 and you add another $2 to it every day versus you times what I got in my account by two every day, who's going to be rich? Think about that. If you got $2 and I got a $2 in my bank account, you got two in your account. Man, you have an option and you say, look, you can either get $2 every day. I'm going to add another $2 to your account. Or I can times everything in your account balance by two every day. Which one you going to choose? Guess what a dumb ain't going to say? It really don't matter, Sanchez, and that's why we broke as hell. <laughs> that's why we broke as fuck. Because we say shit like multiplication ain't nothing but exaggerated addition. That's dumb shit. That's poor people talk. That's a poor man talking. If you think that a man that multiplies his money every day is making the same kind of money than a man living paycheck to paycheck and just adding on to his money every day additionally to what he got and bringing additional funds home every paycheck, he's struggling. That's the difference between a rich man and a broke thinking ass nigga. Broke folks think multiplying is adding. And it's sad, bro. It's so not the same. It's so not the same, nigga. It is so not the same. Again, if me and you get, got $2 in our bank account and I multiply my account balance by two every day, guess how much money I'm going to have in a week? Let me get a calculator. I got two in my bank account. Here go the first day. I'm going to multiply that by two. I got $4, right? Now, I just get added $2 to what you got. And you saying, well, we got the same amount, Sanchez, so what's the difference? Here go the difference, right? Let's go to the next day. Four times two, I'm going to multiply my shit by two again. The next day, I got $8. Now, they just going to hand your dumb ass another $2. Guess how much money you got? Six dollars. You going to look at me and say, Sanchez, how you got two more dollars than me? I'm going to say because I'm full of ego and I think I'm right about everything. Don't worry about it. 
Guess what's going to happen on the third day? They're going to multiply my $8 by two and I'm going to have $16. And guess how much money your dumb ass going to have? $8. You see where I'm going? They're going to give your stupid ass $2 every day and they're going to multiply my account by two every day. Mister, they both the same. That's why you poor, nigga. You think like a poor dummy and can't nobody tell you niggas nothing. I'm going to revisit this shit tomorrow and I'm embarrassed y'all dumb asses. Thank you, Joseph Brielle. He gets it. And he's very more respectful than me, man. He said, think of it this way. Just like seven of seven is 49. Instead of times, just use of. Two of two. One of one. And he said, I learned this in second grade. I know, Joseph. It's third grade shit. Look at this dude down here. Like black folks, we embarrassing ourselves. And I'm not going to be nice with this. Not only I'm going to beat and teach for y'all, man, because y'all acting arrogant with me. You trying to act like I'm ego tripping when I'm telling y'all second grade shit, bro. And that's why I'm going to embarrass you niggas. Thank you, Joseph Brielle. And, and somebody named Son of Yan or whatever said, just like in pages, one of one means one page one. What, you see what I'm saying? Page one slash one. That's page one. They don't get that. They don't get the of. I'm glad they put of like one of one, two of two. That's a good way to look at it. That way y'all can quit thinking multiplying and adding is the same thing. Because one plus one is just that. But multiplying is saying one of one. So we're going to go back to second grade. <laughs> Because apparently Sanchez ego tripping and he think he know everything. Motherfucker, I know how to multiply. That's for damn sure. And you ain't finna fool me. And one thing I do know, if my money multiplying every day and you just adding on to your money every day, I'm going to be richer than you. 